Hey guys, welcome back to Mecha Knight's Nightmare. <clears throat> um, I don't remember where I left off. I really don't remember where I left off. Oh, I was going to try new weapons. That's what I was going to do. Alright. Um... There's a new raid, I think. I remember trying Rain of Fire. And I remember knowing that after 16 pickups, you should just get out. Because it's, it's not worth keep going. Maybe you get rarer stuff, and then the rarer stuff... I don't know. Oh! I used the rail guns last time. That's what I was using. It was uh, tanks with rail guns on them. All right. Let's see how this works. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Happen, you might find better items. Call for an extraction when you've had enough. Don't miss the extraction All right. point, though, as it will be on cooldown for a few minutes if you do. Understood. Neither one of these are uh, having any trouble right now. Like, I can just keep firing these and be good. Jesus. Watch out. We've detected an anomaly heading your way. Again already? Man, I might trade up the miniguns for this. That's ridiculous. I, I should start trying more weapons. Cause what the stats are versus what these do in practice, I feel like are different. And just one of these nails, like totally shreds one of these guys. I do wish the explosion radius on it was a little bit bigger, but... These are nuts! I'm going to have to like switch up my loadout to what I had and test that again because this doesn't feel right. Like this feels way more firepower than what I had before, but maybe I'm wrong. I notice I am taking quite a bit of health damage, but...
What's hitting me? Oh. Yeah, like this cannon is astounding how much damage it does. Also, I hate, I hate this beach already. trouble deciding on which weapons to like change out which is probably a good thing but it feels like these big guys here like I'm not dealing as nearly as much damage but I like the right hand gun it is doing some work I don't have to worry about... I have to worry about ammo, but I don't have to worry about how much, um... I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't have to worry... I, I have to worry about ammo, but I don't have to worry about heat. It's really nice. So this takes two hits on those guys, and it destroys them pretty quick. It only takes one hit for the big guys. Man, there's a lot of you guys, huh? The kind of crazy thing is this doesn't overheat. I'm really liking this uh, Arterite S90. I'm really liking it. Um, oh. So, heavy damage. I'm and noticing my left-hand gun, the, the energy weapon, it recharges ammo. I don't know if it's enough to be useful, but it does recharge ammo. That's interesting. I never considered that. I don't think it ever says that anywhere. I wonder if energy weapons recharge ammo. Echo 7. Supply helicopter will soon arrive at the uh, I didn't know I requested that, but I do need it, so whatever. What keeps hitting me? Oh, I see it. 20 seconds.
I'm trying to think of when I would need the energy rifle. Because I could, there's a lot of use cases for that, um, the S90. Because it's a decent, um, arm cannon. But I'm trying to think of when I would need an energy weapon that specifically is doing what this energy weapon is. The nice thing about this whole setup is I literally never have to worry about cooldowns. Because these don't fire fast enough to actually worry about it. However, they, it still it runs out of ammo. I'm getting up there. I found nine items so far. Come on. Echo 7. The supply helicopter will soon arrive at the drop site. is headed your way. Call for an extraction if it's too hot. Deals a decent amount of Understood. damage. But I prefer the minigun over this. Like, each one of these guys is just one hit, which is super nice.
I don't like the right shoulder cannon. I like the left one better. I will say that. Yeah, I like the left hand shoulder cannon better. It probably will do less damage overall, but it spreads it. So it's not as wasted. Oh, look at that. The mech can't take much more of this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need to go. Oh, hey. Yeah, I feel like the right hand shoulder weapon just misses half of its shots. Watch out, Echo 7. We see an unusual heat signature headed your way. Understood. Heat signatures? We see an unusual heat signature headed your way. Oh, one of these. Echo 7, the supply helicopter will soon arrive at the drop site. Uh, I didn't want that, but that's fine. I need it. Yeah, this right arm cannon's real nice.
807, this is Sam. An anomaly is headed your way. Call for an extraction if it's too hot. Understood. Did I do another one? No, not really. Command, I need an extraction. Copy that. Bird is inbound. Don't be late. Where are you, bird? Ready for pickup. There you go. Um, so I got a couple new things. So the energy weapons, oh, meh. I need repairs. In the right arm cannon, I really don't like. Ooh, I like how much ammo that's got. That's ridiculous. But the mass is also kind of ridiculous. Yeah, probably won't be doing that. Assault rifle burst. Oh, I didn't know I could. Uh, you can do that with the arrow keys, apparently. Um, two projectiles. I might try it in my left hand. I could literally just have the two rail rivals. That would be interesting. But yeah, I don't like the div ass.
these howitzers seem amazing comparatively. Um, That's the grenade launcher. Well, three projectiles, right? Times 2,000 is more than the Corneth one. It has no cooldown issues. Um, and I guess the only benefit to the Corneth is its blast area is a lot bigger. Well, I'll have one on each shoulder, so I can try that. I do want to try the grenade launcher burst. The grenade wall. So it fires 12 times 1677. Whatever that works out to. Every 30? So that'd be Kind of cool to experience, I guess. I want to see what that does. And then... I think I get my left hand the I figured let's to, to try. We have to start trying some different weapons, right? Um, I might not even need generators anymore at this point. Do I even have, um, I still don't have anything for my legs. Uh, left shoulder, that's my energy. So do I, would I rather get rid of cooldown or energy? Take a look. I'd rather get really cooling. It's already at 115. If I get rid of 
the energy, yeah, I'd, cooling's probably the better one to get rid of. So that would be this guy. Battery doesn't add anything but energy, right? Yeah, energy cap. This adds health and it's only tier one, but whatever. It adds health and uh, the other thing. Okay. Any new actives? Nope. Just this is an energy thing. Kind of whatever. So the tier two things are repair kit A3, is that a tier two? No, it's a tier one. Hmm. I don't, hmm. I don't know. Passives. Did I get any new passives? No. Auxiliary cooling. Don't need. Don't need that. Da da da. Okay, well. I guess that's kinda it. Upgrades. 7,000. Okay. No. My energy gen is full. These two are almost done. I should have done boost to speed. Oh well. Um, do I want to do another raid? Yeah, I want to test these, but I don't want to do that raid because that raid sucked. I'll do rain of fire. That raid sucked because you're looking out into the ocean, and I don't know. It just. Eh. This one's night, which isn't great, but at least um, it's higher level items. Raiding again, Echo Seven. All right, you know what's up. The monsters will keep coming. They will keep getting stronger, and the items you might find keep improving. Call for an extraction when you want to leave. Don't That's be late weird. for the extraction. Roger that. Where are they coming from here? I want to see what these do in damage. Oh, Jesus. So this is literally just a wall of projectiles. I don't feel like this is mowing down people like the miniguns did. Yeah, I think this left hand is kind of garbo. I thought it might be cool, but no. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to be using it at longer range, but there's two projectiles each, so why would I do that, right? Yeah, I don't like the left hand. And this, I don't know, you could make a case for it. You can't boost up into the air though, so that's kinda. Echo seven, the supply helicopter will soon arrive at the drop site. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. So I don't know. I'm not really feeling the, the grenade wall thing.
It is doing. Oh boy. I forgot about these guys. Like the minigun would make short work of these guys. Jesus! I think it does about the same as one of the arm cannons. Yeah, it does about the same as one of the arm cannons. This is great flak. But if I had the minigun, it wouldn't matter. Echo seven, this is command. Ooh. An anomaly is headed your way. That's Call some serious lag. If it's too hot. Understood.
no damage fall off is actually really nice for this arm cannon. I can be however far I want to be away, and I'll still be doing a ton of damage. I don't know. I feel like the toxic gas hangs around way too long, though. Watch out, Echo 7. We see an unusual heat signature headed your way. 
Understood. Damage to the mech is critical. Fuck. Again already. All right, I guess it's time to call it quits because I can't. Command, I need um, an extraction. Understood. Sending a bird to the extraction zone. Ganade wall is kind of cool, but I don't think it fires fast enough to be worth it. Maybe I could be wrong. Ready for pickup. Wait a minute, it said I had a lot more than that. It said I had eight. Does it only give me half of whatever I thinks I got? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, it might only give me half. I know, something doesn't add up. Alright, so I've, I've tried a couple weapons now. I got an idea for what they do. A lot of them spread fire in different ways. But I think, ultimately, something similar to what I had would probably be the best. Um, is this a straight up upgrade? No, it doesn't have targeting. Why am I worried about targeting? What does targeting actually do? Hand to shoulder weapons. Value added to total stats. Yeah. Okay. So it is important. So, assault rifles, hell no. Shotguns are just outclassed by the Astra here. The rail rifle. I could do two, <laughs> I could do two rail rifles. And I have some serious power. Um, I shouldn't though, because I need something to mop up the stuff in the air. I don't want to do any lock on things. Uh, left, left shoulder. So, I guess the other thing to try is this grenade launcher. I have a feeling that its fire rate being that high, it's going to run out of ammo very quickly. Its effective range is also the same as the other one. And it only shoots one projectile. Uh, I don't know. Let's not rate it on stats. Let's just try it. Alright. Even though it has four barrels, somehow it only has one projectile. I feel like that's wrong. Um... Nothing new there, nothing new there. Nothing I will want. Nothing I want there. If I could get another gun on this side, I would do it. And then just have another one of these generators down here on my leg.
I don't want to do any more raids. I want to do the Camp Pagan. It's burst damage. I get it. Without it, we will be cut off. We cannot allow this to happen, as we need reinforcements to move towards camp. Eliminate all enemies in the port. Oh, okay. Your objective is to clear out four sections of the port. More friendly troops are inbound, but there's no time to waste now. We need to get to the center of the city ASAP. So I'm putting you in charge of the heavy lifting. Roger that, Command. This is Sergeant Johannes with the 1st Mobile Infantry Division. We need help in Sector Delta. We're surrounded. Our lieutenant is KIA. We need an extraction now! Sergeant Johannes, this is Echo 7. Dig in and hold your position. We'll be moving to assist you soon. Echo 7, this is the USS Lane. We have several Panthers on station, ready to deliver some heavy air support should you need it. Once called, it will fly over your position and attack the enemy. I hate I don't I don't hate but I know and I know it's the way the game is designed probably for like reasons but I don't like the fact that I can't go vertical I'm so used to going vertical in max Grenade launch is definitely interesting, if anything. Echo 7. I need heavy ordnance on my designation. How copy? Solid copy. Air support incoming. I'm taking too much damage. The mech is compromised. I am shredding through them. I don't know if I like the grenade thing yet. It's a little awkward. Command, this is Echo 7. We're inside Area Bravo. We'll clear it of all enemies. Out.
yeah, the the machine guns just rip. Like it's it's insane how fast they rip. This is Echo Seven. We're approaching area designated as Charlie. We'll clear the area of hostiles and report back. Solid copy, Echo Seven. This is Echo Seven. Commence bombing run at designated target. Understood. Commencing bomb run. I don't like this. God, there's so many. All right. Echo 7. We've reached Sector Delta. We'll clear the area immediately. We need some help, goddammit! We won't make it much longer! This is Echo 7 to the NATO forces trapped inside the city. We are converging on your location. Echo 7? On the Bosporus? The fuck? We got a tank down! 85%. A little bit more. Oh, Jesus, where did you guys come from? Requesting bombing run, on my mark. Yeah, that, that, I don't like that over-the-shoulder grenade launcher. It's not doing anything. It's doing a little bit more than a regular handgun. Like, it's not doing much. Got more stuff from that than eh. rest of the allied troops are inbound on your position momentarily. Ooh, what's that? Kinda looks like a turret. Oh, there's a couple things that are new, it looks like. That's one thing I do kinda like about this game. Is it's always something to go back into the mech bay and try out. Um, I normally don't try the the heat seeking missiles or the like most of the missiles. Maybe I should, but um, 
Because in the Armored Core series, like, I always love those. It's tough, too, because I'm comparing this $16 title that one dude took five years to make to Armored Core, which is from the, uh, from the developer from software. Um, in a lot of different respects, this game might be more advanced. Well, I shouldn't say more advanced. This game, in certain areas, it's better than the first Armored Core released on PS1. And I'm not talking about the graphics. I'm just saying, in general, in certain areas, it's just better. Um, it's definitely more cohesive. cohesive. Um, but what made those games, that series, in general, so good is you don't have to have a story to be a mech game. Um, a lot of the time it's actually better if you don't. Because the story will just take away from it. In my opinion. Um, oh, that's worth it. Oh, that's really worth it. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Um, but, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's kind of... Um, I don't know. The only successful... There's only two successful series I've seen with stories with mechs. And they're both very different from each other. One is Armored Core because it has so much different lore to it. Um, and people are still trying to string together all the series in general. Trying to figure out which which happened when. Um, and the other one which is uh, Titanfall specifically Titanfall 2 was the only other mech game I've seen where it actually the story of it actually really drew you in and it was probably one of the best first person shooter stories I've ever played um and that's not really a mech game but it just has a mech in it Um, yeah, most of these suck. I don't, I don't like any of these. Um, well, most of these suck compared to the things I'm used to, I should say. That's what I got that was new, the flamethrower. A tier 2 flamethrower. So it's a minigun. It's essentially a minigun that has a little bit more effective range. And then half the ammo. Yeah. I mean, that's what its damage numbers are saying. It's a little bit faster in fire rate. And about a quarter the damage. And it also has about a third less ammo. And actually more effective range, which is kind of funny. Oh, uh, projectiles are two on both, actually. So, yeah. They both have the same heat, incidentally. Which is funny. So, yeah, the flamethrower is cool, but it's really just another Gatling gun. The cool thing about the Gatling gun... Oh, this inflicts damage over time, though, too. I didn't count that. Because the cool thing has always been about the Gatling gun is that you can use it as a flat cannon. Um, you know what? I should try it. Uh, I'll try it to replace the that just to see what it does. Um, weapons, right shoulder, I need to get rid of this. Frag. 
Wow. So, less fire rate, a little bit less ammo. But so much more damage. Huh. Oh, another burst frag. That's what I want, right? Yeah, projectiles three. Damage 2,000. So it's 6,000 damage per shot. And it, it's, it goes dun, 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 dun. I think it's four times. So it's 8 times 644. Damn, that's a lot of damage. That's like 5,000 damage a shot. And it shoots for you. But if you have buildings in the way. So I would take, uh, I would take turrets into areas that I already know the layout of because buildings are going to get in the way. So if it's an open area, a turret's fine. And honestly, you would want a turret that's only close range anyway because if it starts targeting things that are too far out in the distance, it's going to eventually hit something in the way. Um, no. No. All this energy. I could sell a couple of these. Nothing new here. Okay. Camp Pagan Princess. See how this goes. I'll do one more and then, uh, Probably go get lunch. Echo 7, this is Command. We're in the final stages of establishing a foothold in the area. This city is the last piece of the puzzle before we can push toward Kiev, our main focus of defense in the European sector. Place is a mess. Looks like these guys were in for a rough ride. Affirmative. NATO forces in this area suffered catastrophic losses. Logistics are a priority at the moment. I need you to set up a perimeter and hold it while the casualties are being evacuated. Understood, Command. You can count on us. I have sent Echo 6 ahead to keep an eye on potential enemy movement and scout out a safe passage to Sector Bravo. She will keep you updated. All allied units in the area. This is Echo 6. It's already over here. We have a large wave of red converging on the city center. Prepare for contact. I say again, prepare for contact. Out. She never lets us down, huh? <laughs> Doesn't look that way. Brace yourself, Echo 7. Command out. So, how are you hanging in over there, Echo 6? Oh, so formal, Captain. I love it. I'm doing good, Echo 7. Moving towards the Sector Bravo. I'm tucked away nice and tight between these buildings here. These things have no clue I'm here. 
Looks like they're on view, though. Better get ready. They're here. I see them. I see them. Get ready. Weapons hot. Kill them all. I mean, I've been doing that, but okay. I don't know if I like the flamethrower. It is doing a round with the same the the same thing as the uh, the minigun. It's kind of cool. What are they stuck in a wall? I guess I'll let them come out of the wall. LZ approach coming. Echo six. Not great. I'm squeezed in at the moment. Try to stay out of sight. Don't get careless now. I need you back here. Don't worry. I'm keeping a low profile. Wouldn't dream of not coming back for you, Captain. The Bradley's on fire. Stragglers coming in. Clean them up and get ready for the next wave. I see you're getting used to being in the field, Cheryl. Learn from the best, sir. I'm just outside of Sector Bravo. I might have been compromised. A large cluster of the swarm has just broken off and it's heading to your position. You better get ready for it. Shit! Echo 6, what's going on? Yeah, it's a bit overplayed. The dialogue is just a bit much. So it's good for the mopping up these enemies, I guess. But sometimes it, do it doesn't hit or spread, so that's a problem. So overall, I'm st I think I still like the minigun a little bit better. If anything, for the satisfaction of hearing the, uh, the barrel spin. Maneuvering a friendly element to her position as we speak. They will be at her position in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? She'll be dead before they get their engines running. I'm going out there. Stand down, Echo 7. Do not leave this line. That's a direct order. Fuck that. I'm not losing me into these. This city is too important to lose, Echo 7. You're not seeing the big picture. You're letting your emotions cloud your judgment. Command, this is Echo 5. Requesting permission to hold the line without Echo 7. I can take care of things here while he goes out to look for Echo 6. Cheryl. Stand by, Echo Unit. Cheryl, are you sure about this? Absolutely, Captain. Don't worry. You can count on me. It's not like this is my first standoff against these fuckers. Echo Unit, this is command. You have a green light. I say again, green light. I'm relaying Echo 6's last known position to your nav display. Roger that, Command. Echo 7 moving out. Echo 5, be advised. You have a large swarm moving towards your position. Prepare for a large engagement. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm impressed by how much you've changed. I won't forget this. Don't mention it, Captain. All right, boys. Let's roll out the welcome committee. Hold on, Mia. The so welcome you. wagon, not the committee. Six. The wagon. Seven, Jesus. Position. No, that's her mech. It's it's completely destroyed. No. No, no, 
Oh no. Oh, this. Is she? No. Sh she can't be. What? <laughs> what took you so long, asshole? Mia, are you okay? I've been better, Captain. <laughs> I knew you would come for me. Wouldn't dream of leaving you behind. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. My ribs are broken. My legs are messed up, too. I can't move. Guess they fucked up pretty bad, huh? Not a fucking chance. Is it great? Back in all sorts of fucked up. <laughs> get, get me out of here, Ethan. Command, this is Echo 7. I have found Echo 6. We need extraction at my position. ASAP, over. Echo 7, this is Command. Understood. I'm sending in the cavalry. ETA, 10 minutes. Ugh. Hang in there, Mia. They're coming for us. Echo 7, this is Command. Satellite shows hostile surrounding your position. Friends yeah, no shit. Your position won't be able to reach you in time. Protect Echo 6 until we can extract you. Let them come. Uh, get me out of this. Anything in here? Nope. Inbound on your position. Stand by for Finally. Copy that. I knew you would come for me, Ethan. You did it, Captain. You did it. Hooray. All right. Oh, that was it? Okay. Uh, anything? Looks like there's a shoulder-mounted turret. No RPG thing. That's about it. There's perhaps a generator shoulder mount, but I'm not sure. Oh, just me stretching. Oh, God. I took a bike ride earlier. Oh, my legs still hurt. Um...
What is it missing? Am I wrong or is there one thing that's missing out of here? Targeting. I never really noticed it, but I guess targeting spelled wrong on this thing. <laughs> eh, radar range goes up. There's not that much bad about this. Targeting is a little whatever, but I'm going to finally change it. It's a lot of red. That's some health. Um, torso. I think these are the three I had. So yeah, this is right hand. So I'm gonna put that back on. If this grenade launcher functions just like the other one does. Yeah, it has a 400 fire rate. I'll be out of ammo very quick. Um, So I'll keep that, that like that for now, right shoulder. I don't think I got anything new in terms of... Oh, that's interesting. 500 and something ammo. From 432. So there's some of these that are like offshoots of each other. In the same tier. Which is interesting. Um, like Chiryu 3 and Chiryu 3L, right? It looks like the major difference between the two is their model has been updated, so now there's four of them. But also, it looks like um, one has about a hundred. Uh, the one with four has about a hundred more ammo and more mass. So the Shiru 3L is literally just a slightly upgraded version of the other one. Plasma rifle charged. Charge energy weapon fires numerous scattered projectiles when the trigger is held down, accumulates projectiles fired when the trigger is released, drains energy from the max battery to recharge. It doesn't really have. I mean, I know it recharges its ammo, probably just like the other gun. Oh, 36 projectiles. So it'd be 36 times 800, 840. Jesus. I want to try that. I'll do right shoulder for that just to try it. Um, rocket launcher. Multiple unguided explosive rockets. Turret shotgun. Thermobaric rocket launcher. Yikes. That's a lot of damage. I feel like these um, bars need work. Um, if I'm honest. I, I feel like there's a calculation being done to fill that bar and it's not it's like outside of its parameters that it was started with I don't know like it's scaling incorrectly or something um, that could just be my resolution I know it actually this game did get an update to support uh, 4k my resolution currently so I, I can't blame it on that um where did that gun go? This one? This one? Yeah. I want to see what that does. That looks cool. I've mostly settled on what equipment I want to use for this thing, though. Um, so I could use the minigun on the right, or I could have another 7 energy. I'd rather just do legs, but there are literally no leg attachments. Ever. 
I, I maybe it just has a really rare chance to drop, but it is just is nothing ever. Um, this is for cooling. Most of my stuff doesn't need cooling, so. If I can swap out energy recharge there, and then in um, shoulders, use a different thing. Yeah, I could use cooling on the shoulder. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell if you want to see the next one. Uh, hit like the video if you liked it. Down vote it, don't like it, whatever it is, <laughs> if you didn't like it. Um, if you didn't like it, just let me know why. Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, and if you did like it, let me know why. Um, otherwise, I'm going to try to finish up this game. It feels like it's getting toward the end, but I have no real idea. It's just, I've been stuck in Tier 2 for a while now, so I, I feel like the missions are going to get toward the end. Um, and if that's the case, this has been great. Um... I'll probably give a number rating at the very end, but it's going to be hard to rate this type of game because it's um, not even given the fact that it's a single dude and it took him five years or whatever. Setting that aside, it's hard to rate this game because of how low price it is. Uh, it was 16 bucks and I got it for 12 so I'd still rate it as a $16 game. But as a $16 game, this has more content than... I was really expecting and you could do things to the mech I wasn't expecting and there are some problems with the game but they're all kind of minor so I don't know um, and some of them are even preference to me um, but so far the music music's good I mean it's not anything to write home about but it's not like it's not existent and it's not like it's horrible it's not like screeching or anything. It's it's pretty good. Uh, it's above average, I would say. Um, as far as the graphics go, the graphics. Um, I don't know what what it is with the um, the blur uh, distance, but uh, a lot of, a lot of games end up tending to do that. Um, maybe it's just so that it doesn't. I don't know. And I'm glad there is features in this game to prevent your computer from trying to, to, to prevent your computer from basically going nuclear. Uh, you could see it. Animations would stop working. Um, and I, I'm sure the reason for that is, is if there's too many enemies on the screen, you don't want a ton of animations also happening, uh, the full resolution of those animations, because then your computer will tank. Um, so instead, this developer decided to do a distance a set distance and a set number, probably, I'm guessing, that the animations just stop. There's probably a percent scale or a sliding scale or something that he used to set it so that if they're, let's say, uh, tw uh, 200 meters away and there's 100 of them, do the basic um, like animation. Put the basic um, spread up, and that's about it. And then if there's like 10 of them, and the 200 meters in front of you well display the full animation a lot of the times in this game there's like two or three hundred enemies on the screen at a time so they have to be somewhat low res they have to be somewhat uh lowly animated and at times when i mean the game decides more than my computer does but at times when there's too many enemies on the screen it seems like it automatically just changes them to a poster board uh type of sticker uh, like a just a texture, a, just a flat texture off in the distance is what it changes them to. Um, I'm fine with that personally. Um, I'd rather have it do that than crawl to like two frames a second and not let me move around. Even with a 3090 and a 16 core CPU, um, it's it's gonna happen. So it's an intelligent decision made by somebody who put a lot of love into the project. I really appreciate that. Um, as far as all the mechs go and the components, I do feel like, maybe it's me personally, that once you get a certain set of components together, you're just looking for the next 
component that makes it a little bit better. You're not really looking to swap out components. Um, like, just change your whole play style. Um, I guess that's kind of a problem in every mech game. Like, once you get toward a certain play style, you just use that play style. Um, RPGs don't generally have that issue because it would require like respecting a character and you go to a different class or something along those lines whereas mechs are always just you are every class you just pick your parts so yeah I don't know. um anyway thank you guys for watching once the game is like done if it's like a short video what i'll end up doing is just going into a little bit more detail about my thoughts about the game whether or not you should get it as it is right now if you're into mechs, you should get it. Otherwise, eh. It's a good game. Um, and if you're, like, like the Mech Warrior feel or the Chrome Hounds feel, this is kind of there. Um, if you like the systems from Armored Core, it's kind of included here. Um, I... I'm sorry I'm comparing it to other AAA titles, but it's the only titles I know of that are mech that are actually good. Um, and this is actually, for like the 15 to 16 bucks, a good game, uh, comparatively. Like, if it was four times the price, I would expect four times the polish, the four times the components, four times the everything. Armor Core has all that, four times pretty much everything that this game does. So if I like or I think that some of the Armored Core games are really good, then it stands to reason that I should think that this game is actually pretty good. I think this game is actually pretty good. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Have a good day. And I'll see you next time. And I'll probably talk about it a little bit more.